and welcome back to another racket review and play test today i am reviewing the brand new wilson pro staff x the new addition to the pro staff line after painting rackets in all black for a few years wilson finally gave the pro staff line a new cosmetic update they call this color rust and i think that's pretty accurate only if you look at it indoor but if you go out on courts, the racket is going to appear to be gold, goldish, uh, which makes it feel like you're holding a piece of luxury in your hand. And I think that's pretty cool. I know that people have mixed feelings, you know, about this color, which is understandable because the all black paint job really gives it a more classic, uh, timeless look. And uh, that's really what the Pro Staff line is, is all about. So the question today is, does the Pro Staff X really have its place in the legendary Pro Staff line? Does it really provide the classic feel that we're all accustomed to? Wilson definitely you think so, but uh, there is only one way to find out. And I know I'm going to say that in a, just about every uh, racket review videos that I make, but Please do not buy your new racket without demoing it. I know a lot of us have purchased a racket before because our favorite player plays with it, but this is really not the way to go. Um, it's really a matter of personal preference. Uh, it can lead to a lot of injuries, and and to be honest, I think that playing with the right racket, um, you know, and the right strings really allows you to develop your own your own game, your own identity on the court, um, and that's really gonna make playing tennis a lot more fun a lot more enjoyable so don't forget to demo your rackets and if possible uh, string string it at uh, the tension uh, that you are used to all right and before diving into the specs i wanted to say thank you to all the viewers and the supporters of the channel if you enjoy the content so far and are interested in more racket reviews uh, string reviews and some entertaining recreational tennis playing content i would love a like and a subscribe to the channel because it's really the best way to support the channel and uh, and you know what if i get more than 50 likes on this video i'll review the highly requested all new wilson shift for you guys so make sure that you smash that like button and i will do my best to get this racket and do a full review and play test for you guys. All right, so I'm looking at the specs of the Wilson Pro Staff X and I'm comparing it to the uh, Wilson Pro Staff 97, um, the version 14. And really, on paper, there is only one difference, and that's the head size. The Wilson Pro Staff X is 100 square inches. And of course the 97 is 97 square inches. The length is the same, strong weight is the same, 11.7 ounces. The balance is the same, 12.6 or 7 points headlight. Uh, the, the stiffness is the same, the beam width is the same, uh, it's a 16 by 19 string pattern. So on paper, the Pro Staff X is really a bigger Pro Staff 97, aka a Pro Staff 100. Now, one thing to notice though is that Tennis Warehouse does report a different swing weight. Uh, Pro Staff 97 is 332, Pro Staff X is 322. Now, I know for a fact that these numbers can um, vary depending on the racket that you actually purchased. Uh, you know, there's always uh, differences um, just due to uh, quality control in the production. So, you know, these can change quite a lot. My Pro Staffs, I got two Pro Staff 97s and uh, they don't have the same swing weight. So I don't think that the swing weight between these two rackets is that different. So how did the Wilson Pro Staff X feel on the courts? Just so you know, I always make sure that the rackets are strong with a full bed of polyester because that is what I'm used to. And the tension is usually at mid-range just to keep the uh, all the demos uh, review consistent so as a Wilson Pro Staff 97 user I have to say that um, I felt like I was playing with the same racket really I'm not gonna sugarcoat it um, you know I, I really wanted to feel uh, the difference but it felt like I was just playing with my own rackets um, so the answer is yes 
the Pro Staff X definitely has its place within the Pro Staff line, but then the question is why even make a Pro Staff X if it feels just like the 97? Uh, so Wilson on its website claims that the Pro Staff X was basically made to be a more playable racket for anyone and offers extra forgiveness due to a larger head size. In my opinion, Roger Federer was the ambassador of the Pro Staff and since he retired, they don't have that top player now to represent that line and so they need to find a way to market to keep marketing this racket and the pro staff x is a good way to not scare away uh, new players because you know the pro staff line is kind of known to be a, a very difficult uh, racket to maneuver and so you know by by enlarging the head size it really allows players to at least give it a shot and get accustomed to the pro staff feel uh, so that eventually, you know, they'll keep playing with it or they may even want to explore a smaller head size. So my recommendation for you guys, if you like playing with the Pro Staff, you will absolutely love this one. If you enjoy playing with older classic rackets, uh, but you feel like they're a little bit too heavy right now, um, you're also going to like this one just because it does provide that classic experience, but with a you know, bigger, more forgiving head size. And if you've never tried a pro staff, but you are more of an intermediate or advanced player, I would definitely uh, go ahead and give this one a shot uh, because it is a pretty solid racket. So that is pretty much it for the Wilson Pro Staff X. Let me know in the comment below if you played with it and what you think about it. And on the next one, I will be playtesting the Wilson Pro Staff 97 version 14. So as you know, I play with version 13 and I am very excited to uh, demo that one because I really want to know if um, you know it's going to be better, if it's going to enhance my game or if I'm better off skipping that one and wait for version 15. Last but not least, I want to thank Paul for playing with me. Uh, Paul was actually featured on a channel in my very first league match that happened last year. So if you want to watch that match, you can see it, one of the first videos in my channel. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for all the support, liking, subscribing. You can also follow me on Instagram and uh, direct message me there if you'd like to uh, set up some time to play tennis. Always happy to play with anybody who want to play with me. Thank you, and I'll see you on the next one.